What's up, you guys? Namicon here, bringing you my perspective of what Entertainment is bringing us, and and here is my review of Darkwing Duck for the NES. Released in June 1992, it was a critical and commercial success. It received positive reviews and was positively compared to the Mega Man games, and fitting too, as the game was developed and published by Capcom. The game stars Darkwing Duck as a mysterious crime wave was has hit St. Kennard and his team Shush requires his need of duties to stop the villainy that appears. The villain group Fal, led by Steelbeak. Steelbeak hired six other villains to prevent Darkwing from making progress and those villains are Dr. Bushroot, The Liquidator, Quackerjack, Wolf Duck, Megavolt, and Professor Moliarity. Surprisingly, Negaduck is nowhere to be seen, considering that he's arguably the most popular villain in, in the series. Similar to the Mega Man games, you could choose which bosses you want to face first. Well, there are six bosses, but there are two phases. The first phase, you choose either the Liquidator, Quackerjack, or Wolf Duck. While the second phase, you get to choose Bushroot, Megavolt, and Moliarity. The presentation is really good for an NES game. Capcom were, were one of the MVPs during the a NES era. Most of their games surprisingly hold up very well, and Darkwing Duck is no exception to this. This game actually runs on an engine that Mega Man 5 uses, so it's no wonder graphically it looks really good, because Mega Man 5 also looked good. Darkwing Duck controls really well, I'd say. His gun packs a punch. It's a pretty easy game too, so I would this is a this is I would hop on in and know I went on this game blind and it I I died like a couple of times, but like it's it, it's mostly because of my air mostly because of my arrogance, but like but like it's a pretty easy game if you're careful. The level design is well made and made sense for the villains. The music, I would also say, the music is really good. Which makes sense, given that the composer also did Mega Man 3. Which has a go-like soundtrack, despite not being a great game. Bushroot Stage is probably my favorite song in the game. Uh, I Darkwing Duck is my favorite, di my favorite show Disney has put out. So, knowing that, knowing that this game is really good, really, really... Really is relieving to hear, since a lot of licensed games, especially in the during the during the NES era, were infamous for being awful. But Cap Capcom knew knew the assignment and they did it well. O overall, I say Darkwing Duck is a really good is a really good game. One of another another great Disney game made by Capcom. Yeah, they they did Ducktales, Chippendale Rescue Rangers, and Tailspin, which uh, the latter wasn't that well received, but the other, the first two, those were considered to be really good. But I would, I, if you, if you are in, if you have an NES and you intend to collect all NES games, I would suggest put pick this one up because this one, this one is really good. It's one of the, one of the, one of the very few NES games that surprisingly holds up really well. And it's also on the Disney Afternoon Collection on the Xbox One and the PS4. And if if you had any interest in, and if you are a Disney fan, or have any interest in playing the video games, I would highly recommend. I would recommend picking this one. I would recommend playing this on the Disney Afternoon Collection. It's it's really fun. A Darkwood Duck for me gets an A minus. So what did what does everyone think of Dark uh, Darkwing Duck for the NES? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe if, to my channel if you haven't, and make sure you follow my t Discord and Instagram down in the description down below. This is Navicon, and I'll see you next time.